We're starting to get more insight about how Canadians are coping with price inflation and rising interest rates. The big banks see the effects on their customers and on their own business almost right away. Today, CIBC is the first to give us a glimpse of that. Jeannie Lee joins us now with more. So Jeannie, what are we hearing from the Bank of Commerce? Well, the Bank of Commerce is making uh, uh, money still, and that, of course, uh, is uh, would be good news to those who uh, have seen in the past uh, what happens in the U.S., for example, when so many banks collapsed in the great financial crisis, just could not make money. That's not the situation for the Canadian banks, of course. Now, that uh, profit of $432 million was um, actually much lower than a year ago, and it's because the bank had to put aside a big uh, amount of money in order to cover uh, the cost of a lawsuit. Uh, but still, the profit was higher than a lot of uh, analysts were expecting because of some good news for customers in that the uh, Bank of Commerce did not have to put aside as much money to cover bad loans and this is the rainy day fund that the banks all banks have to uh, you know cover uh, whenever there's a situation when a person just cannot pay back what they owe uh, or a business in fact so just a glimpse of some more of what's going on at the CIBC mm -hmm. personal and small business banking that profit ro uh, was down 14 percent so that speaks to a little bit of the health of that division but of course uh, the losses on credit definitely showing up in this in this uh, division there was total revenue which rose eight percent and that's because expenses had to go up because the bank had to pay some of its uh, employees more. We've heard about the labor shortage, so that's where we're seeing it there. $295 million was set aside to cover those bad loans, and that is up 75% from a year ago. But again, while a big increase, it wasn't as much as uh, some had expected. So that, anyway, gives us some uh, sign of just how it could be worse at this point. That loan loss provision, it's called, is something we're going to be watch for all, watching from all the big banks when they report their results in the next few weeks.